Get your engines ready and hyphen is back. What's up, Redeemers? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Keith. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. And hyphen, shout out. Don't be too shout out and act crazy. Get yourself over to that subscribe button. Hit it and become a real Redeemer today. Also, for more dope content like this, we might even shout y'all out. Jump over to the Patreon. We're getting into the live version of this. Some other exclusive and hyphen stuff is going on for this month. We had the Hybe, uh, what is that, caterers, uh, like the Hybe game stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, Hybe games. With um, hyphen, with TXT, with the Seraphim, with 17, and I feel like I'm missing someone. Was that Ive? It might have been Ive. I don't think. No, 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 it's Promise Nine. Promise yes, Nine. Yes, yes, Promise yes. Promise Nine and the Old Heads. Yes, um, kind of from, yeah, right. all from Hybe games. Um, but yeah, all the Hob stuff is up on there. Um, with Hob in general, whether it's the Stetchy Tie stuff, y'all gonna want to check that out. Uh, that's gonna be up on there. It's Suge month, so we about to have all the Suge content with album reviews from D One and D Two. Jim and stuff is gonna be at the end of the month as well for March twenty fourth for Face album. Um, already got RM content up there from last month. We got uh, J Hope stuff up there for his birthday from mm-hmm. last month. Join the Patreon. It's a movie. But no long talk, we can jump into this and hyphen to see if they showed out. Make sure the volume is up for my guys. All turned up. Let's get it. Getting older. <laughs> yeah, I've been, been blowing up before my eyes. <laughs> Should have seen them live. Damn. Ain't a little thing you need. Why are you getting old? <laughs> Mic check to them going in. Yeah. Oh, the fans is getting the show, so they doing the selfie cam with the. Mm-hmm. I'm showing my bias, man. We <laughs> gotta stop it. They said I have a type. <laughs> Yeah, he probably got a tight. He's giving me Jimmy on this. Oh, no, oh, no. That, yeah, it's that popping. Of Vegas. It's popping out there. I'm not even being funny. They joined, look like, it's like the same venue. <laughs> no, it really did. <laughs> they even doing the join. Mm-hmm. Get to see them grow up. <laughs> it's popping in there. Oh, 
It's a bug. a bop. Um, I couldn't even blast how I want to blast it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I couldn't blast how I want to blast it. Y'all better be subscribed to the channel, man, and follow our hyphen journey. Um, so I'm a little biased when it comes to in hyphen. Mm. Um, I'll make a long story short. Um, my biggest interactions with K-pop were with my mom and them, and most of the times they were listening to like Bob Rain and people like that. <laughs> Um, so my mom told me, she was like, Bahrain is a, a judge on this new show. It's called Island. Um, you know, you probably should watch it. So I'm just like, okay, I'm not doing too much of anything. And I wound up uh, like, you know, watching half the yeah, show. Yeah, nothing better to do. You know? Yeah, it was just like, you know, it was like, I'm going to see what's up. This And this is when I first kind of got back into the K-pop journey. So I'm like, right. you know, I'm going to see what's up with the what's up. So I'm watching the show and, you know, uh, it's a guy there. His name is Bang PD. Didn't know who this guy was at the time or whatever, but it's just like, you know, didn't know he was a big deal. Um, and then obviously, you know, it was Rain on there and it was another judge too. I forget who else. There's another popping judge on there too. Um, but, you know, Young Boys is getting selected and stuff like that. They're doing songs that I don't know. And now mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if we play this back, they're going to be songs just like, I know that song now. Yeah, be singing that shit. Um, but all that being said and stuff, I had to stop, uh, like, watching the show because I wanted to, uh, like, really watch it with y'all and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I knew at some point we were going to be reacting to it, so I didn't watch the show. But I guess it's a spoiler alert anyway because we, you know, know who in hyphen is at this point. All right, we know who in. Um, earlier on on the channel, I think we had gotten to their content so fast. That we like did all the title tracks and did like a lot of the B sides, so sometimes it was a lot of gaps within hyphen. Um, that's why sometimes y'all just be like, "What's up with that hyphen love?" And it'd be like, "Y'all, so much going on," and you know, waiting for like they comebacks. Mm -hmm. um, that you Unless know, you want to hear like give and take in twelve times, which I don't mind. I, I definitely <laughs> don't mind. I love but, that song. Um, all that being said, I'm, I'm very much this group is very close to my heart, um, and it, it feels really good just to see them. Uh, really, I don't want to say eating the fruits of their labor, but mm -hmm. um, just like having a good time, being able to tour, show the world how talented they are, and just kind of like, you know, really blossom, uh, spread mm -hmm. their wings, so to say. Um, so, you know, but, um, uh -huh. ha -ha. but um, no, nah, it felt good to see how big that venue was. Mm -hmm. It felt good to see them like rocking out. Um, if y'all don't know, we went to the BTS concert in Vegas. Looked like they were kind of doing the same thing as far as being on, uh, like, the scapel type mm -hmm. joint, riding around and talking to fans, even them going out in there. This is crazy. I'm not being funny. This looks like the biggest venue I've seen for a fourth gen group. Yeah. Um. This is this is a lot of people. And mind you, they're not on no joint where it's like, you know, RM with them or someone else. This is just their tour. Yeah, this is just them. Um, so, you know, that's this is crazy. I'm really proud of them. This is crazy. Um... Yeah, let me get back into the song. The song was a bop and stuff. I did want to blast it a little bit more, but it kind of had that um, like coming of age kind of like feel. Um, we know we know if a hyphen they they get into anything, whether they want to rap, whether they mm -hmm. want to like you know do some rock type stuff, whether they want to sing, whatever they want to get into, they're gonna do it at an elite level. I thought the song was a banger. It's definitely a download. Um, the video was cool. I'm interested to see kind of what the live looks like. If it's just kind of more straight up than just. I mean, I feel like we almost kind of got it. Yeah. Um, so they, I guess that's going to be interesting to see. But um, yeah, man, I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I definitely want to do some more in hyphen and stuff. But it is hard just because, um, you know, we some content that they have, we kind of got to hold back until we have the perfect opportunity to showcase that. Um, so we, we're going to try our best, though, to do some more of these dance practices, some more of these lives and some other stuff from them. But uh, y'all yeah, was talking about how you feel, bro. Um, instantly the song from the production standpoint takes me back to like 99, 2000 TRL, mm -hmm. um, that sort of vibe. Even the video, um, there will always be like maybe like the Blink-182 video where they're just kind of like having fun backstage or whatever, whatever. But I will say I did love the transition from the, the BTS footage, mm -hmm. wink, wink, nudge, nudge, um, <laughs> uh, to like the actual concert footage. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought that was very, very clean, um. And done very well. 
I think it was almost uh, almost like on a key change or whatever, um, where they just kind of like sw- flipped from you know just being backstage and and getting ready for the show or sound checking to actually being out in the crowd and everything like that. And I thought that was uh, very creative, um, subtle too, by the way. But um, and essentially, it it went with the song like shout out like you're shouting out all your fans like you know what I mean like this was basically a love song. To um, engines, yeah. Sorry, I don't want to get it wrong. <clears throat> Basically, like a love song to engines, and the video kind of reflected that too. Oh, like get... a shout out. Yes. <laughs> no, exactly. But that's exactly <laughs> it, and that's that's essentially what they did. Um, you got to see personality. You got to see everybody up close and personal. You got to see what they go through on a daily uh, show day. You know what I mean? It was it was nice. It was nice to see. It was a microcosm of what they go through. Say no, microcosmos. Say yeah. microcosmos. <laughs> no, but this was definitely a good job. Oh, that venue looked crazy though. It definitely did. Um, and when they showed like the rainbow bomb waves, it, it reminded me of when we went to Vegas for you know the other show. Um, but it was definitely a fire job. Um, I kind of agree with you. Uh, we went through their content so fast, but we went through it so fast because we were so hype on them. Mm-hmm. And hype it, um, <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> no, nah, but like we didn't realize we went through their content until we were like, all right, what's next? Mm-hmm. Nothing's next. The only song we didn't do at the time, I think, was Give and Take Mm-hmm. and we had just did it probably the week before. And it was like, well, fuck, there's nothing, nothing left. We we got to just kind of wait around unless we go jump into B sides. But um, no, nah, this group is awesome. This group is awesome. I can't wait to see more from him. Yeah, I'm very interested just to kind of hear with with Eric with the whole album. Let me download the song to with the whole album. Uh, it's going to sound like because we don't fraud here. Oh, that's what album that's from. Mm-hmm. Last year's going from uh, past the mic and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, somebody got that for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shout out. Uh, shout out to her. Told you that right, the NDA song. Bruh. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I'm on long talk for me, though. I'm interested to jump into uh, the other live version of this to kind of see what was going on. Because it seemed like they did this a few times, though. They might have did this at the Golden Disc Awards. Mm. And if they did this, I swear I thought I thought then this would have been on the album. Uh, what was it called? Like Manifesto or something mm-hmm. like that? Um, I could be wrong, though. But, yeah. Um, jump in the comments, y'all. Let us know how y'all felt about this. Definitely subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Your engines aren't ready. Um, also, if you love content like this, jump on the Patreon. We literally about to jump into the live version of this. Um, it's dance practices up for hype. That's why they don't subscribe. The uh, puns, bro. Someone like, said they did. Yeah. You'd be surprised. I got a hundred people in there like, keep them going. Um, these puns are hard. Um, but shout out to y'all. They actually listen and like the puns. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's giving or take. Don't encourage him, please. This is gift or uh, <laughs> gift or curse. This is blessed or curse. Bless <laughs> but nah, uh, jump on the Patreon. We about to you jump into it with me drunk and dazed. <laughs> oh man, love you all. We go holla at y'all. Don't catch a fever. Peace.